Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. I'm Anime, and today I'm going to be walking you through my, as quick as I can, makeup for college. I'm the kind of person who likes to wear makeup every day, but sometimes it's hard to make the time to do so. Uh, I commute like 45 minutes to an hour to college in the mornings, and I have a couple of 9am starts, so I need to leave pretty early. I also don't like getting out of bed super early, so this is how we do makeup in the morning. A lot of these products are my most trustworthy, fail-proof product uh, and that's why I use them when I need to trust my makeup. This is just my easiest like full face but simple and put together kind of look and you can change the lip product is kind of where I throw in the colour because I keep the eyeshadow kind of the same. If you enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and let's just get into the makeup. So first thing I'm going to do, a lot of the time I won't have my earrings in when I start because I might get foundation on them, but I think I'm going to just throw up my hair. Um, this is the reality of having wavy hair right here. There we go. These jaw clips, I got them a couple years ago for my life. Ta-da. So I'm going to see if I can do this as quickly as I can do it when I have like 10 minutes before I need to leave the house and I'd really like to grab a snack on the way out. So first I'm going in with my Revolution Beauty. Is it Revolution? Makeup Revolution London. I always forget the name of this thing. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. So it's stick foundation. I love it. Um, It's actually my self tan shade and I just self tanned last night. That's why I'm pretty tan. But it'll blend in well. And yeah, I go in with a pretty decent amount of it. As you can see, I have a lot of like hyperpigmentation on my skin. Also like, this reminds me every time I put it on how tragic my pores are. You, I'm not going to go in any closer, but it's bad, my dudes. Um, and I blend this in with a damp beauty sponge, aka the Real Techniques foundation, whatever they call it. I use. I've no. I think I tried a regular beauty blender once, and I didn't think it was any better than the Real Techniques one. I actually prefer the Real Techniques one, so. The only thing is, when it's dried out, the Real Techniques one is like pretty hard. I think that the actual Beauty Blender one is a bit softer. But we're just gonna blend this in with less sponge and we'll be on the road. It's a little greasy looking, but there we go. I love that foundation. I just. I think it's really reliable and I enjoy that. The next thing I go in with are brows. So the palette that I'm actually holding, this is a really old Stila palette, Eyes Are The Windows to the Mind palette. Uh, and I go in with the shade Observation. I, didn't, I had no idea it was called Observation for however long I've had this palette, but I actually use it for my brows. This color here, this palette looks like trash. Um, I'm just kind of using it up. It's, you know, a little bit easier to correct your mistakes with this if it goes wrong and I'm rushing in the morning and I just go in with, this is an Eco Tools little angled, this kind of a brush, you know what I'm on about, I can't think right now. But you should honestly see the speed of me doing this some mornings because I am not the best at getting up out of bed. So, brows done. Next step, eyeshadow primer. Uh, this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, uh, I love it. I always talk about it. It's nothing new. I am just a big, big fan of that product. And we're just going in with like a little bit of it um, because I'm not doing anything major today. Obviously, this is like the quickest full face I can do. Let that dry down a little bit. So my foundation is kind of like, because it's a stick, it kind of warms up and then like almost like resets itself down. It's almost like a self-leveling nail polish. Uh, so now that that's doing that, I'm gonna go in with ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in prenup. As you can see, this is well loved. I do really, really like, I like all ColourPop products. You'll notice that. Going in with a flat top brush and we're just gonna add a bit of that. You could always use your fingers for this, but I just prefer to use a brush. I just kind of pack it on. I like pretty strong blush look. I just think it looks more youthful, I don't know, more fun. Um, a little bit more natural as well. I also, I do rotate between blushes and eyeshadow colours. This is just an example of like one colour combination. Um, 
but the other, I'm trying to think of what the other blush color I have is called, and um, I have two other Super Shock Shadows. So, there we go, blush, done. Um, I really like this blush a lot. I think it's really natural. As I said, it is prenup. I think it's sold out right now, because I just linked it in another video. Um, it said it was sold out, but I think they'll probably bring it back, because it's a very popular one. Then we're gonna go in with another ColourPop product. We're gonna go in with the Super Shock Shadow in Hanky Panky. This is like a, mm, it's kind of getting dried out and like destroyed, so it looks really gross. <laughs> but uh, showing you a better idea of the color. It's like a nude, like a really soft nude. Um, it works really well for my skin tone, both when I'm pale and tan, and it's just the best basic color. It is just, it feels like Play-Doh right now. Um, it's a little bit dried out, so that's unfortunate. Maybe I should have gotten a new one because I just placed a ColourPop order. Woohoo! Hopefully, I might do a video on that actually because I got some of the new Midnight Masquerade collection. Absolutely gorgeous. So, this eyeshadow, I just love it. It just warms up the eye area a little bit. It just makes the whole look look a little bit more put together as opposed to just like not wearing eyeshadow. Um, because I'm also not going to wear eyeliner. So it looks a little bit red right now, but that's just because I've been touching my eye. Because <laughs> I'm very fair skinned. So we'll let that kind of settle, but I just literally put that all over the lid and you're good to go. Uh, I also use the shade Wattles. They're the two that I use when I'm in the most of a rush. Then I go in with, focus on me, setting powder. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop setting powder in light medium. And I got light medium so that it was a bit warmer um, of a powder so that it didn't make me look too pale when my foundation, if it starts to wear away, because I, I do have quite oily skin. So I don't expect any foundation to like really last. I also touch my face quite a bit, especially if I'm, I'm in the library, I'll do it like without noticing. So I've said it before, I'll say it again, this product is really hard to get out of packaging. Really bothers me. <laughs> I like nearly transfer it into another packaging, but I like the powder itself. And unlike most other setting powders, like loose setting powders I've tried, or any like good setting powder I've tried, uh, this does not break me out. Amazing. Um, so just realized I'm putting this on without a mirror. I'm just looking at the viewfinder. I should uh, I should check on that. Oh yeah, we're looking fine. This is kind of a hard to go wrong product, I feel like. It doesn't ever make me look cakey, but it also doesn't wear away quickly. So that's everything you want in a powder, am I right? Then bronzer, always bronzer. I love bronzer. Uh, this is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer and it's just the contour brush, I think, from Real Techniques. It's rubbed off I think. Oh no. Contour brush. So I go in, yeah I do it wrong, I like contour with bronzer or whatever it is. I just, this is how I do my bronzer, okay? Um, and I always do quite a bit on my forehead because I have a decently sized forehead and I have a uh, hair that is not growing at its best right here. So I also have a widow's peak that's just like genetics, like that's nothing big, that's just a hairline but I just feel like doing this really warms up my complexion and it also just makes the foundation look a little less foundation-y compared to my hair, I almost feel like. I really have to blend the bronzer in. So, yeah, and we're also, you know, we're not trying to make ourselves look like we, we have some sharp cheekbones or nothing because no amount of makeup could do that. So, the two last things, brow gel. This is just Essence Lash and Brow. I, why am I why am I going without the mirror? Like why? I don't understand. So essence lash and brow. I need to bring this up a little bit, and I just use this to set my brows. I need to kind of do my brows. Fun fact: I don't like wax or fuck my eyebrows. Like I don't get my eyebrows done. I don't need to. This is one time I was doing this like training course, like media training course, and. There was a makeup artist and she was doing my makeup and she said, she was like, you know, when next time you're getting your eyebrows waxed, you don't need to like do them so far apart. And I was like, I don't wax my eyebrows, this is just how they grow. I know they're pretty far apart, okay? But like, I was like, 
you know, this is, this is just how they are. And she felt pretty bad. And I was like, she's like, oh, oh no, then that's fine. And I was like, yeah. Um, then I go and I curl my lashes. I am very strongly considering getting a lash lift or something because I curl my eyelashes like pretty heftily. <laughs> is that a word? Every day. So there's too much brow gel in this eyebrow. Oh yeah, way too much. That's fine. We just, we just pat them there. We just pat them. Um, lashes curled. And then final step, well not final step, but second to last step, we go in with mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess All Slash Effect Mascara. Best mascara, talk about it all the time. It's the best. If you haven't tried it, you should get it. It's really good. Uh, I find it's really not irritating. You know, it doesn't have like a scent or anything that makes your eyes burn when, as it dries. It's just fantastic. And it, it, like, I have pretty good lashes, I'll be honest, but you can, like, that's like one coat. It's dabomb.com and it's good and dark. It's not like grayish or anything because I hate when mascaras are like that. It's good and black. It works for the bottom lashes as well, but I just barely touch my bottom lashes with mascara or else they look ridiculous. So I got a bit of mascara on my lid, but I also don't really care. It'll probably just like get blurred away because of how oily my skin is. So it'll only be there for like 25 minutes. Okay, then we're just gonna let our let our hair down. Boom. And this is how I would get into the car. I look like someone from the 70s right now. The hair the hair will settle. So I would get into the car, drive to college, it's like 40 minutes away, and I would always bring my lip product with me. So this is the ColourPop X Delilah collection, and it is the shade JJ, and it's just a really good neutral nude pink. Uh, and I just like slap this stuff on. A lot of the time I will go for like a more colourful lip or something because I don't have time to do it with the shadow so I kind of go for it with the lip product. I'm more of a lip gloss girl than a lip stick because I hate matte lips. I just hate how they feel but there we go. And then you can reapply lip gloss whenever. It's just super easy. So that is my super quick. So it says 15 minutes. It would usually take me, I would say like 12 minutes like I could do it in 10 but that is the makeup look so that was my as quick as I can full face of makeup for college look I hope you enjoyed I'll list some of the products I used down below if you're interested in them because these are all like my most trustworthy products that's why I use them be sure to follow me on instagram at anime.yt if you don't already I will give you the shortcut to subscribe over here which you definitely should do and I'll put some of my other videos over here if you are interested in watching any of those and I will see you in my next video